A snack and soda giant PepsiCo reported earnings of, uh, well, we can go through the whole list, but the good news here is like its peers, PepsiCo has raised prices of its sodas and snacks to offset the in impact of inflation, and that helped profit and revenue in the previous quarter. We're looking at the stock up about 1.68% right now. For more on those first quarter results and insights on how the consumer is faring, I want to bring in Hugh Johnston. He is vice chairman and chief financial officer of PepsiCo, also serves on our CNBC Global CFO Council. Uh, these are some good uh, these are some good numbers, and we were talking about the, the winners and losers during this quarter, and, and you happen to be a winner. What's happening here, and, and can you hold margin in this environment? Yeah, good morning, Andrew. Good to be with you guys. Yeah, obviously, we're pleased with the results for the quarter, and, and in particular, the fact that our growth was pretty broad-based. Uh, you know, we had a 14 percent revenue growth. Uh, snacks and beverages, uh, snacks grew 16 percent, beverages grew 12, North America grew 14, international grew 15. So pleased with that. Uh, as you know, we're, we're still facing inflation. That, that's far from behind us at this point. And our price increases were about in line with, with the inflation that we faced. Now, margins for the quarter, gross margins were up 50 basis points, but that was entirely driven by productivity, our ability to get more efficient through digitalization and through leveraging automation. So, yeah, the, the investments we've made in the business uh, have put us in a position where the consumer still uh, really enjoys and wants our products. But then, but then sort of play this out for the rest of the year in terms of what your expectation is for inflation and then how you think you're set up against it. Yeah, so as we've talked about in the past, we forward buy on our commodities about 9 to 12 months. So I, I do expect at some point we'll see some level of moderation in the inflation levels. But uh, the things that we're selling right now, we, we set the price on nine months ago in terms of the, the, the cost of inputs. So we'll see inflation reduce. It's still going to be up, but it'll be less than what it is right now. And it'll still be up at a pretty high level through the course of this year. And obviously, we, we've taken uh, pricing to, to be somewhat consistent with that inflation over the course of the year as well. What are you thinking about U.S. versus Europe right now versus Asia? Pretty broad-based uh, everywhere. Obviously, the U.K. is facing some challenges, given uh, the very high rate of inflation that they're facing. Uh, Europe benefited, clearly, the consumer from a, uh, from a bit of a mild winter, so certainly uh, holding up a little better than we expected. U.S. consumer in our categories uh, is holding up quite well. Now, I know in, in some of the more higher, uh, higher priced items that, that we're seeing report earnings today, uh, the consumer is suffering a bit more there. But from our perspective, consumer tends to, be, uh, tends to be doing fine. They may be trading down in channels a little bit, moving a bit more towards value channels. But even there, that's at the margins. That's not a, a dramatic And are change. you doing anything Asia differently as a result of that? Well. Uh, candidly, we're, we're in all of those channels and, and our, our margins are pretty consistent across those channels. So I wouldn't say that there's anything dramatic that, that we're doing. We may see some trade down from Santitas to Tostitos or uh, to two liters in, in beverages. But again, this is all at the margin. By and large, consumers holding it very well in our space. I'm looking at the, uh, the brands behind you today. You know, they always shift, it always feels like. How's this new Starry, uh, Starry drink working for you? This is sort of a Sprite it, competitor. It's doing, yeah, it's doing I, incredibly well. Sprite Far better in than our expectations, frankly. Well, what did you say? <laughs> it, it, I said it's doing better than our expectations. Yeah, you're about to say Sprite, allowed to say Sprite in front of me. As long as you say Starry is doing really well compared to Sprite. Compared, it, it, I mean, on a growth basis, or how, how are you measuring that? Yeah, just the, the size of the business. Uh, you know, it, it, it could be a, a multi-hundred million dollar business this year. This year. It, it's come out of the blocks that quickly. It's a great tasting product.